Uh, I'm often asked about the question of the makeup of faculty today and how that relates to uh, shared governance. Can it work? Uh, the truth is that so much of the shared governance model uh, we've been talking about uh, is predicated on uh, a, a historic structure that for most faculty in many institutions no longer exists. Uh, we are at a point in higher education where just about a fifth, 20%, maybe less, of our faculty are either tenured or on a tenure track. And so, so, so many, therefore, of our faculty are adjunct or part-time with one-year contracts. Uh, and so their relationship to the institution, their, their, their passion for the long-term uh, challenges and needs and issues facing the institution are nowhere near in many cases, in most cases, nowhere near the level of individuals who have a sense that they're going to be there for the bulk, if not their entire uh, academic career. That's a problem. Uh, related to that problem is the fact that so many of our faculty, even those within the fifth who are tenured, have increasingly uh, separated themselves from faculty governance uh, structures. Uh, they've just taken a pass on it and have uh, devoted themselves, their commitment, their professional growth, if you will, uh, to their professional or to their academic disciplines. And so uh, participating in uh, conferences and meetings and professional uh, associations that are defined by the subject, uh, uh, the academic area uh, in which they uh, uh, they are uh, they are uh, serving, uh, becomes far more of a priority and a focal point than where the institution is going, and even some of these uh, business model issues that we're talking about. I think that's a problem. I think governing boards, notwithstanding the makeup of faculty, and I think they need to look as part of the business plan and the investment of uh, the resources uh, scarcer still than they might have been uh, in, in the stature of their faculty as, as part of their long-term um, strategic considerations. But the faculty they have, that's the faculty they have. And I think boards and administrators need to be uh, just as zealous in finding ways to include, to respect and include uh, uh, faculty in the kinds of uh, academic decisions that faculty can add value uh, in addressing, uh, notwithstanding, uh, again, their contractual uh, status with the institution. It's an important issue.